Hey folks, how are you doing? We're doing going to do things a little bit differently than we usually do. Usually we have uh, folks, I'm Spike Cohen by the way. Uh, we have, we usually have the different speakers speak and then they introduce me and we are going to do that shortly. Uh, but first, I want to take a moment to uh, recognize someone who is uh, an absolutely incredible human being. Uh, his name is uh, Mr. Dave Jones. Dave, if you mind uh, stepping over here for a second. Uh, he's actually, uh, he's the next speaker, I think, actually. But before I give you a chance to speak here, I just want to talk about Dave for a moment. Dave, uh, here are his official titles. He is the, uh, the chair of the Whiskey Region uh, of Tennessee Libertarian Party. Uh, he is also the coordinator. Yep, shout out to Whiskey Region. Uh, and uh, he is also the coordinator uh, for the Jorgensen Cohen campaign for the Whiskey Region. Uh, he is currently running uh, a fantastic race to be the next chair of the Libertarian Party of Tennessee. Uh, and another interesting fact, he is one of the most hardworking, forthright, honest, trustworthy, and absolutely incredible people that I've met not just in this campaign, but my entire life. Uh, and another fun fact, today is Dave's birthday. And so before we introduce him, uh, I would like us to uh, to do what often happens during someone's birthday, which is to sing happy birthday to him. So, uh, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dave. Happy birthday to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dave Jones. It's a beautiful day for a revolution. As Spike Cohen said, my name is David Jones. I am the chair of the Whiskey Region and Libertarian Party of Tennessee. Looking to be the next chair of the Libertarian Party of Tennessee. But I want to talk to you today about Spike Cohen. I first met Spike Cohen in South Carolina last year at the South Carolina Libertarian Party Convention. I got to share an Airbnb not only with Spike Cohen, but the guy on the left from Muddy Waters Media and Vermin Supreme. We had a ball that night. Uh, this first interaction I'd ever had with both Spike and Vermin Supreme. And, and that night talking to uh, Spike Cohen, I absolutely knew that this that Spike was, was going to be the man for the job. He's absolutely going to be part of the future of the Libertarian Party. Uh, I also had the great honor to plan the event in Nashville, Tennessee, in which Spike Cohen started his journey towards the nomination uh, for Vice President. It was a fantastic event there. But Spike Cohen is the first millennial to ever be on the ballot in all 50 states. And me, as an elder millennial, that speaks to me. It speaks to me because Spike Cohen comes to his constituents with a voice of kindness, with a voice of love, with a voice of humor and empathy. Spike Cohen, if you will watch his video, Spike Cohen is not like any other politician you'll see. Most times politicians, when they're meeting people, will come up and they will talk at them and talk through them and they will walk away. Spike Cohen does not do that. Spike Cohen will walk up to you, look you in the eye, ask you your name, and he will listen. He will listen to your concerns until you're finished and then he will respond with that message of love, that kindness, that understanding, that charity, which is a tenet of the values of the philosophy of libertarianism that we hold dear. I can't, and I became a libertarian, I I've been a libertarian my entire life. I just didn't know what the Libertarian Party was. In 2016, I stumbled across a Facebook ad for Gary Johnson. And I was like, what is this Libertarian Party? So I went to LP.org. I looked at the planks, I looked at the principles, I looked at the platform, and I found my home. And with Joe Jorgensen and Spike Cohen in 2020, 
and their youth outreach, especially the youth outreach that Spike Cohen does, well, I can't wait to see how many new libertarians that we're going to bring on board for the Libertarian Party of Georgia, for the Libertarian Party of Tennessee, for the Libertarian Party of Alabama, and all across the country. And I can't wait to look them in the eye and say, welcome home. Yeah. But like my mama used to say, mind the mess, because we're building. What are we building? We're building a party that's going to challenge the cult of the omnipotent state to see a world set free in our lifetimes. And what world is going to be set free in our lifetime? Each and every individual one of us. As we live our lives, as the life of the world that we want to create as libertarians. Because this is the party of love. This is the party of peace. This is the party of charity, of empathy. And this is the way. Yeah.